Hey, I'm Dr. Kent DeLay. I'm a board certified urologist practicing in South Carolina. And today I want to talk about a really important topic that affects both urology, but comes up in primary care offices all the time, comes up in urgent care, the emergency room, and that is a urinary tract infection. And what I really want to do today is contrast a urinary tract infection versus colonization of the urinary system. So let's just start with some basic definitions. A urinary tract infection is the presence of bugs in the urinary system, plus those bugs are causing symptoms. The most common type of urinary infection is probably cystitis, which is inflammation of the bladder, and the symptoms are dysuria or burning with urination, frequency, urgency, what we call suprapubic discomfort, and sometimes even blood in the urine. So like I said, basic definition, a urinary tract infection is symptoms plus bugs. Now, the bladder is not the only urinary system that can be affected. You can have pyelonephritis, which is infection in the kidney itself. You can have epididymitis or prostatitis, which are infection of male sex organs. You can have urethritis, which is an infection of the urethra, most commonly in men uh, due to a sexually transmitted infection, but not always. So now that we kind of understand what a urinary tract infection is, what is colonization? So colonization is the presence of microorganisms, usually bacteria, in the urinary system that are not causing any symptoms or not causing any problem. So this happens all the time, uh, particularly postmenopausal women have a lot of colonization, people with catheters have frequent colonization, and the bottom line is if there are no symptoms present, it's really important not to treat these folks. And you might say, well, there are bacteria there. That sounds bad. Why wouldn't we treat that? Well, the main reason is a lot of those folks will never go on to develop symptoms. And two, if we use our antibiotics kind of indiscriminately, when we really need them, there's a good chance there's going to be resistance and they won't work against the bugs when we need them for a true urinary tract infection. So why would somebody think they had a urinary tract infection, but no symptoms. Unfortunately, sometimes people get this from healthcare providers. They might go in, have a urine checked as part of a routine physical, and a urine culture is done showing bacteria or colonization, but the patient's not having any symptoms. But they may be told, hey, you don't have any symptoms, but you do have a urinary tract infection and get antibiotics. I want everybody to understand, saying that someone has a urinary tract infection without symptoms is an illogical statement. It doesn't make sense and is actually a contradiction just based on definition. So colonization almost always can be observed, meaning no, treat, no treatment is necessary. Now there are exceptions to this. The two most common would be pregnant women actually have a higher rate of developing significant infections if they are colonized, so they usually would receive antibiotics. And two, if somebody's going to undergo urologic instrumentation or a procedure and they have bacteria or yeast there, you would want to treat that to reduce the risk of having sepsis or a significant complication during the procedure. So those are two situations where colonization would be treated with an antibiotic. But the vast majority of the time, no need for treatment. Okay, so how do we identify what a UTI is and know how to treat it? The most common way is a urine culture. So if somebody is suspected of having a UTI, the first thing that should be done is checking a UA or a urinalysis with a dipstick and seeing if they have certain markers which would be consistent with an infection. Bacteria, something called nitrite or leucasterase, which are chemicals often present in the urine when there's a urinary tract infection present. Usually, if that's present and there are symptoms, I will go ahead and treat with antibiotics before we get a culture. Now, urine culture is where we actually send the urine to the lab, is grown there, and we identify what the bacteria is and can even find what antibiotics that bacteria will respond to. Now, sometimes we ha we'll have the situation where we start someone on antibiotic and then find that it will not work based on their culture and change it. But it's important to know that it is appropriate to treat certain folks for a UTI based on symptoms plus a UA, but to get a culture to make sure you're using the right, uh, the right antibiotics to treat them. So big messages I want people to understand today. 
a urinary tract infection is the presence of symptoms plus bugs in the, in the urinary system. To tell someone they have a UTI but no symptoms doesn't make any sense. Colonization is bugs present in the urinary system but not causing any symptoms. Most of the time, especially in postmenopausal women and folks with catheters, this can be observed without the need for treatment. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, any urologist can help you work through this process of identifying whether you have a UTI and when you need treatment. So if you have any of these symptoms, definitely go see your local urologist. But I hope this was helpful and just giving you some educational content to understand the background.